Is it well, a, well, it's do an opening. I mean, it's such a so much work has gone on in this through the years, and this facility's been talked about, but just arriving two years ago and, and being able to work alongside so many people within our boost organization uh, and when the president first came on board and coach will barrel when i first got here it was, it was something that we immediately talked about uh, when you look across the country and the facilities across the country this is a need and it's a need that we need not only to keep this program at an elite level but to invest back in our student athletes and provide the resources for them to continuously grow athletically and then academically and so without the Dunlap support it wouldn't be made possible and I can't thank all of our boosters enough. What have been emotions like uh, leading up to today to finally have this project's been right. a lot? It has uh, you know and I wasn't joking there's a lot of late night phone calls um, that you just spend on trying to figure it out and getting the things in place the processes procedures that need to happen to get to this day and and you know it's a special day it's a special day for not only the university the community but the program as well and you couldn't be more excited about the future that we're headed you talk about when you build facilities you build them for the future so what is the vision for this one as you get ready to break ground there, there's no doubt uh, you're constantly looking what's is this facility going to stand the test of time um, i go back to the cowboy stadium's already invested 300 million and i see i gotta call call them and say what are y'all fixing i thought we fixed everything there but, uh, you know, when you look at a facility like this, you really look at 5, 10, 20 years down the road to make sure that we're putting everything in it, but leaving also space for growth as things change, technology changes. And this building is going to be the state of the art. It's going to be the top facility in the country when it opens, and we could be more excited about the resources and the ability to offer that to our student athletes. How many other similar facilities have you guys looked at as, as you study? Uh, there's not one hour that we haven't looked at, you know, but more, we also went the NFL route uh, because we want this to be state of the art. Uh, I had a little thing with the star in Dallas and uh, Mike and I got on a plane and flew there and were able to show some concepts that are in that facility. We looked at what the Packers have done. We looked at the Giants. We looked at the new facility at SoFi with the Rams uh, to make sure that we're providing the very best uh, that's out there. And then bringing on Populous was very key because they, they do a lot of these facilities and most of them. And just the latest trends and everything they have going on is, is very important that we're investing into our student athletes and offering the very best. Are the labor and supply shortages, are they still a big factor right now? Yeah, it's always a factor. You know, we're and talking to everyone, uh, the experts, I lean on them. When they start talking steel beams, I leave the room. Um, but uh, 18, 24 months is everything I've heard was what we're thinking right now is that's what we're going around. And actually, it's already started. You know, we got to move that annex building here the 1st of uh, January and rebuild it on that side of the building. And uh, so, and some of the, the water lines and everything are already starting to run this way. So the process is already started. You know how Mike is, you know how he's wired, how he talks, but seeing the speech he had today, just what was that moment like for you taking it in? Well, fortunately, I get to hear it every morning. And uh, the communication we have and the vision he lays out and the vision I lay out, you know, we're constantly talking and talking about and have the, have the same, we see the same things. And that's what's exciting. But hearing how excited he is for this facility and the difference it's going to make is something we're constantly talking about. And once again, not just football. The impact it's going to have on all 550 plus of our student athletes because it's going to allow us to do different things in there uh, for them moving forward. And his excitement and all of our coaches' excitement as we continuously look to upgrade all of our facilities. You know, softball is getting a new facility, a premium seating. We're doing some things in baseball. We did some things in soccer that we're looking at moving forward. And the impact facilities and really the commitment we have to making that student athlete experience and fan experience the very best in the country is something that's exciting when you look into the future. College football is rapidly changing with realignment, college football expansion. Mm -hmm. Does this reassert just how committed this program, this university is to this, this sport? 100%, and, that, and that's a great point. You know, the brand's the brand. We're an elite program. We're an elite program across all of our sports, all 20 of our sports, and we need to stay committed. We need to continuously to invest to keep that elite level. And you're going to see that under under our leadership is constantly looking at ways how we can improve. And it's little things, new football locker room, uh, paint, 
I mean, it goes a long way, but we're constantly looking at what we can do to, to keep the cutting edge and to stay ahead of our peers and constantly providing our student athlete experience and our fan experience and providing those elite programs what they need to be successful. Going back to Norvell, mm -hmm. just how much do you see his passion resonate with donors and these yeah. events that, that you guys go to together? Yeah, we do. And he's so great because I'll lay out a vision. And once again, he and I have the same vision. And when we're together talking to donors and, and asking for their support, I constantly say, as long as, as, long as you're out uh, and have a clear, precise way of processes to accomplish your vision, people are going to partner with you. And we're seeing that right now because we've got a clear vision where we want to go. We want a clear vision where we want the program and where we expect the program to be. And people are partnering with us. Uh, and they're excited about the future of the program and they're excited about the future of the university as a whole. On top of the success of this season, just how important has it been to just have continuity for the last two or three years in your position, his position? I, I can't tell you how important continuity, alignment, uh, pulling, pull, everybody pulling the road in the same direction is. Everything from the board chair, Peter Collins, and the entire board of trustees to the president and myself, down to all of our coaching staff and Coach Norvell, uh, to have a consistent vision and, and the willingness to push the envelope a little bit more to, to make sure that we're keeping an elite level across the entire university, not just athletics, but the entire university. And having those discussions and, and the willingness to understand the brand and how the brand can enhance not only athletically but academically as well. And that those discussions and the same vision and be on the same page as second to none, that's letting us accomplish some of these feats that we're doing right now. What kind of reaction have you seen from current students, current athletes, seeing these rendering? Some of them young coming in who might be able to see that in future years. What has the reaction been from that? Uh, it's been phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of the uh, guys that are graduating wish they had it when they see it and they're they're kind of a little jealous uh, of but you see the young uh, student athletes that we have even recruiting um, you're seeing what this facility is, is going to do to them and enhance their ability to grow academically athletically that, that's something they're excited about because they see the commitment and they see how much we care about them we care about their health we care about their well-being and we care about their performance and everything we do is towards them towards their growth and that's something that they see the commitment and they're excited about. One more question that he's got to be in the reception. I know financing is going to be a part mm -hmm. of it. Um, it will, will active fundraising continue after this point, or is, or is that moving on to other projects? No, we're continuously fundraising uh, through the Bowden Society and, and specifically for this facility and some of our other facilities. Um, that will continue, but uh, we're on path to break ground for 18 to 24 months of the financing and get this building up. Uh, so we can see the benefit already that it's having on our recruiting classes and everything else. Um, it's very important for us to get this facility built.